All right, so what I'm gonna do is cast out to the edge of the school. You can see how they run from left to right. We're drifting exactly that way. So I'm gonna reel it nice and slow, try to keep the line out of the school. Wait till I feel a tap, tap, tap from the line running through them. Ah, there's one. Yeah, it doesn't need to be anything crazy where you hurl a lure 50 yards into one of your friends, but just enough to set the hook. When you feel them in the tail, bass almost always eat head first. If you're lucky enough to have one come eat immediately after you snag one, you often don't hook up when you get them in the tail. This is what we're doing, we're snagging pogies. And this one you can see snagged right in the back, still in good shape. So before I even take them off that hook, I'm gonna grab them, transfer them right over to the circle hook. One nostril and out the other. There you go, take the snagging hook out. And now I can live line them right on that circle hook for an easy release. You don't even need to cast them, that just stresses them out more, so just Open the bale and let him swim, and he should head right back to his school if he makes it there before a fish finds him. There he is. Here we go. Nice work, beautiful bass. It's in the shadow of Boston skyline, it's pretty crazy.